Hi everyone, welcome to this new speed build in The Sims 3 today because I actually decided to build a new house for my Leprosy family. I talked about this a little bit during the let's play but I wasn't sure if I wanted to build something for them because I'm not necessarily the best when it comes to building stuff in The Sims 3. I'm not the most accustomed with the build and buy items with the build and buy system as well of The Sims 3. And I don't necessarily enjoy using creative style, to be honest, because it's really tedious and you will see that pretty soon, but I've spent so much time just trying to personalize the space and trying to find the best color scheme, the best color theme as well for the house. It just, it was really time consuming. But in the end, as, like I said, and like you can see here, I decided to build a new house for the family because I looked around to the new, you know, the houses that the family could afford, like starter houses. And even though I like the houses that we have here in Bridgewood, I really felt like the family could have something better. And I remembered this floor plan that I had worked on a while ago when I was playing The Sims 3 just on my own. And this floor plan is a really basic one. I also managed to build this house as a starter house way back in the days. So I decided to recreate this floor plan in a way. So as you might have seen, as you might have seen, sorry, we have three bedrooms, one bathroom, a kitchen space and living dining area. And I really like this house because it allows, you know, for a family to grow as well as having some private space, some nice space to do stuff for their family. So yeah, I'm actually really happy with this house and I'm really glad that I decided to build a house for these guys. And I think at the end of the speed build, the family was left with a little bit more than a thousand simoleons, although this building process here that you're going, that you're seeing is the, my third attempt at building this house. I tried to build this house two times before and these two previous times I sold everything the family owned from the house that Keith was living in before because if you didn't follow the legacy, basically Keith is our founder, he met someone whose name is Lydia, they finally moved in together, Lydia brought in some money and now they're expecting a baby which is why they needed to move house. But Keith, as you can guess, he had furniture before in his house and I wasn't sure if I wanted to keep everything so I had kept, of course, the telescope. I think the car as well that you can see on the side here, which is actually Lydia's car because she's in the, in the law enforcement career and she's at the level 8, which is why she has the police car. So yeah, I kept a few items that we, we bought when we, when we were living in the previous house that Keith was living in. But when I built the, the house, the two first times that I tried to build this house, the family was left with only 10 simoleons in their account, which is nothing. And the reason for that is because the items in The Sims 3, and I completely forgot about that detail, and it's actually the same thing in The Sims 4, but it's not that huge of a gap, you know. In The Sims 3, the items lose value as soon as you go into create is into, into live mode. So basically, if you buy a table at 10 simoleons, you go into build, in, you go into live mode, and then you go back into into buy mode, and the the table will be worth like seven simoleons almost instantly. So by selling everything, we actually lost money rather than keeping everything and just changing the style of everything we already owned. So the third time I built this house, I decided to keep everything and just change the colors of the items that we already had, which is why you can see the counters that, that we had in the previous house. These counters are really blue and eventually I'm going to change their, their color scheme because even though in the previous house it looked fun, uh, I don't really ne you know I don't necessarily like this this tone here in this house. But anyway, so here you can see pretty much the floor plan. We are actually I'm currently working on the living and dining area, which I'm going to struggle with so much because I wasn't I didn't really know where I wanted to place the the couch and the armchair. And I know that the routing system in The Sims 3 is kind of all over the place and The Sims can be kind of difficult to deal with when it comes to routing issues. But I also wanted for the dining table to be really close to the kitchen because for me it makes sense like you can see the kitchen and you can have access to the kitchen more easily but now that i look back on it i think maybe having the the dining table just next to the doors might be a little bit better like where it is now although i'm going to change the table eventually because we're still with the table that keith had before which is this one tile round table Eventually I'm going to go for a rectangular table that's two tiles long and I actually like this table. I think it looks really family friendly to me, which is why I changed. But yeah, as you can see here, I'm just really struggling with the with the sofa, with the 
with the armchair, with the bookshelf as well, I really really struggled. I also tried to place the telescope in the living room, but eventually the telescope is going to go into one of the two bedrooms that, that are just next to the, to the living room. One of the other bedrooms is going to be for the child that we're going to have soon. Uh, because of course I had to furnish with a crib, with... Uh, we did have actually with some store content, some uh, rocking chair, so I would like to see maybe Lydia and Keith just hang out on the rocking chair with their baby. You know, just rocking back and forth to, to help the baby go to sleep. I think this can be really, really sweet. But I think this is pretty much how I'm going to leave the, the you know, the, the living room and dining area. But yeah, I really struggled. I really wasn't happy with how things went. But you might have seen already that I spent so much time in creative style already just to personalize everything. I wasn't sure actually with the color scheme that I went with for the sofa and the armchair. I just really liked how dark they were and how much it contrasted with the rest of the of the of the interior. So that's why I kept with the with the couch and the armchair this color, but I'm not really sure if it really goes together, I just really liked it so I left it this way. And so here, as you can see, I'm moving on to the kitchen. Something that I have to say is pretty cool is how much you can personalize the wallpapers because sometimes in The Sims 4 it can be kind of tedious to try and find the best wallpaper, although I kind of see that as a challenge and it adds, you know, some, some guidance as to what kind of interior design and interior colors you can follow. In The Sims 3 you're really just free to go and you can do whatever you desire, but sometimes I need a little bit of a guidance which, which The Sims 3 doesn't really give me. But here for the kitchen I was really happy to have been able to personalize the wallpaper. And I didn't use any tiles on the wall, I actually used some kind of paint that looks like tile and I really like this pattern. It's really, really subtle but I really really like it. Here I'm moving on to the master bedroom and I actually changed the cover for the bed because Keith's favorite color is red and Lydia's favorite color is purple and I wanted to have a little bit of that representation in their bedroom which is what, why sorry, I went with this kind of burgundy, like bright burgundy, I don't even know if that's really a color, anyway for the cover of the bed and I really like that, it really represents the both of them. Then I think I will be moving on to the bathroom and the bathroom are really really blue. I was a little bit worried of how blue it was going to be, but I actually kind of like it, you know? But I didn't decorate too much the, the bathroom. Usually I decorate bathrooms like crazy. I spend so much, so much time just decorating bathrooms for some reason. I really really enjoy that in The Sims. But with The Sims 3, especially with just the base game, we don't really have that many decorative items and the few that we have I'm not so much of a fan of. So I didn't really use that many decorative items. I did use a few in the kitchen. I used some tissue, I used some utensils that I've placed just next to the stove. I've used, uh, you will see that pretty soon though, I've used a, a shelf that I found that I think I got from some store content that I really like because you have some pots and pans and also some utensils that you can just hang up, hang up just in front of the of the stove and I think it's kind of useful when it comes to when, when you when you, you have your sims cook. Of course they cannot use those but if we look if we look at it in a bit more of a realistic way it's nice to have your utensils just really close to you when you're cooking. This way you don't have to go all across the room to get something that you need right away. I thought maybe using some cabinets on the walls but I don't like the cabinets in The Sims 3 because the Sims always hit their heads on the on the cabinets and it's kind of annoying. I saw that when Keith was living in his previous house because he did have some cabinets but I didn't like how glitchy they were. I mean they were nice, they weren't really getting in the way but I didn't like how my sims were just getting their heads inside the cabinets so that's why here there aren't any cabinets. Uh, I haven't played and tested this house yet but there's I think enough space for the sims to move around. I think they can use the bed really well. I think, I'm pretty sure that they can use the kitchen as well because I've left one counter empty. I'm pretty sure as well that they can use the, the stove. Uh, but yeah, the, the bathroom, there's not really that much decorative items because once again, there, there weren't that many that I liked. I will put as well as you can see here a potty chair because of course we're going to have a baby soon so I wanted to have as many items as possible for the baby. I didn't get any toys yet, I do have a toy box which I think as soon as the baby becomes a toddler uh, they're going to use. Uh, but here you can see I've used the rocking chair, um, I also used this bedsnet which I think is from a set from the store which I really like. I, I think it looks really sweet and soft and I think this is something that Lydia and Keith would have liked together. And I've used this 
basic spotted pattern that I really like actually. I think the color scheme of this of this pattern just looks really nice and I really loved match mix and matching things in this bedroom just following that color scheme. It, I don't know, I, I really like this bedroom. It looks really cozy, really warm, really comfortable for some reason. But yeah, I will need to buy some more items for the for the kid as soon as this uh, as soon as the baby becomes a toddler so that they can work on some of their skills. But yeah, I'm really happy to have decided to build a new house for these guys. Also, uh, for the telescope, uh, just last little detail for, <laughs> for this house, I will place it in the bedroom just next to the baby's room and it's just going to be in this white empty room with the telescope and to be honest, it kind of looks a little bit creepy because it almost looks like Keith and Nydia are spying on their neighbors through their telescope, which is definitely kind of strange. But on the other hand, I was afraid of leaving it outside and having a robber come and steal the telescope because Keith has the chess master lifetime wish and through this wish, this lifetime wish, he needs to work on his logic skill and with The Sims 3 you do have some challenges that are linked to the skills and I wanted for Keith to be able to work on as many as possible with the, with the logic skill and he will need as well the, the telescope to work on those. But anyway, here we are at the screenshots for this build, so I really hope that you enjoyed this speed build in this video. I really hope that you liked the house. Let me know what you think in the comments. And yeah, I'm going to leave you here, so thank you so much for watching this video, and I will talk to you in the next one.